continue with our selection tool. Uh, the next thing is the link. You can link a web. Uh, you can link a web page, a tool, or any um, or or any music, uh, any file in onto this object. And then when you click on it, at, at the bottom left corner, there is going to be a icon, an icon that you can click on. And when you click on the icon, it leads you straight to the thing that you have linked to. Okay. So the next one is very very simple. This is copy. And the question now is that I know where the copy is, but where is the paste? There is control C, but where can I find my control V? The control V is again on the floating bar right here beside the presentation switch. This is the control V. When I press on it, my apple has been duplicated right here. So this is control C and this is control V right here. And this uh, scissor right here is control X, which means you can cut it and then you can go to your next page and then you can paste it here. Like some teachers invite their students to write a paragraph first and then screenshot this paragraph and cut it and paste it onto the next page. That's a commonly used application of this tool. The next one, as I have uh, demonstrated before, it's the infinite copy. So when you click on the infinite copy, this object is set and you can duplicate as many you can duplicate as many object as you as you want like this so i have many many apples right here because i just i, I simply drag from this mother you can imagine this as the matrix and then you can you can uh, drag a lot of them out of the original object now what if you want to move the original object you can't it's still duplicating. It's the same logic as the locking option. At the bottom left corner, there is this icon right here. You click on this icon, then it's disengaged and you can move the original object like that. Okay, so uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if you have set or you have set a fade in fade out animation in your original object, Everything you have duplicated will be up, applied, the, the animation will be applied as well. So uh, I set my fade in and fade out in this card. So when I drag nine of them out, of, out to make this game, every single card has the animation applied on it. So that is the, that is the infinite copy option right there in our add-on tools. Next is the uh, order of the objects. If you've used PowerPoint before, you should not be unfamiliar with this. You should know what it is. For example, I have a text right here, 22. And I want this 22 to be on top of my box that I'm going to make. All right, a box, a yellow box. I want this 22 to be on top of my box. So I'm going to select my 22 right here and then change the order. I'm going to move it, bring it to front. And then there we go. There we go. So this 22 now is above the box. So you're pretty much changing the layer of it. So that is one application of the tool. Another application of the layer is as following. This is actually very, very cool. First of all, I'm going to create a box and then I'm going to give the box a color, say yellow, and then I'm going to type something, something on it. I like apples very, very much. Now I'm going to enlarge this text. I like apples very, very much. The next thing I'm going to do, watch closely. I'm going to highlight the apples. I'm going to change the color. Use the color drop tool to select the correct color. All right, so I'm going to select the correct tool. Now the app, the word apples is still there, but it's hidden because the color is the same as the background. Now I'm going to make myself a magnifying glass or an, an answer revealing magnifying glass to make that I need two circles and within one circle I'm going to put in a color the 
the in the inner circle I'm going to give it say white all right a white a white circle and then I have my mag the outline of my magnifying glass but I need a handle for it so let's go use a rectangle right here I'm gonna put it right here but it doesn't look good so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the two shapes right here I'm going to select the two shapes right here and then there's something called the combining geometries right here and then I'm going to merge the two colors uh, the, I mean the two shapes and then we have a magnifying glass and now I'm, I'm going to group everything together and there goes my magnifying glass however I want it it doesn't it doesn't reveal anything right now because it's on top of everything so I'm going to change the layer of it I'm going to move it down a little so I'm going to bring it forward so it looks like this right now but what do I like very much look watch closely I like apples it reveals the color that that the word that's the same color as your background right there so it's it's a uh, it's a uh, little trick that you can use for your students to find the hidden message in your background or in your box so that is the application of our layer functions the next is a uh, flip so you can flip it side to side uh, you can flip it down downwards upwards so that's a flipping tool and the next thing you can do is mirroring so it creates a mirroring image from all four sides like that so pretty simple all right next is this say if you've made the picture and you really really want to keep something that you've made for example I can write apples on it and I group everything together I group all these together and I want to keep this image I want to keep this object to the, my noted Apple what do I do there is a cloud it's called save as and you can save this picture uh, wherever you want you can save it on your cloud drive you can save it on your desktop all right next let's look at this this is very 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 useful it's called a uh, color removal when you click on it there's going to be a color drop again and you just drop on the color that you don't want and you remember to click on the check right here and then there goes uh, I'm going to bring it forward there goes a transparent apple uh, you can put it wherever you want so you can remove the background of your object and use the uh, background removed object wherever you want that is uh, essentially what this tool or what this function does the last couple of them is very very simple one is called cropping when you trim or crop the object it re removes the parts that you don't want the next one is you can fit the entire apple into the screen which is a little bit too big <laughs> all right and the next one is you can set it as the background so there are a lot of them that you can be you, you can use if you want you can pause and take a good look at this slide right here we have a lot of the add-on functions and they can really brighten your teaching materials right there in our next episode we're going to be talking about the infinite canvas so until next time see you then bye bye Thank you.